Lately I've had the pleasure of working with the Ortur Laser Master 3, and I developed a smoke and fume extractor nozzle for this machine. It mounts directly to the laser module and sucks up smoke and fumes right at the source. In a previous video I featured several projects that I completed using the Laser Master 3, and the smoke and fume extractor nozzle had been installed at that time. If you want to see more footage of it in action, I'll put a link to that video in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. It does a very effective job at reducing the amount of smoke and odor that would have otherwise built up in your room because of course the Ortura Laser Master 3 is an open frame design. A very light and flexible standard CPAP hose is attached to the nozzle and this is what carries away the smoke and fumes. At the other end of the hose is a low cost filtration system that I advised using a shop vac, HEPA filter and some activated carbon filters. If you're interested in that end of the solution, I'll put a link to that video in the top right hand corner of the screen. In addition to the reduction of smoke and odor buildup in your room, the other benefit to this nozzle is reducing the amount of soot buildup on your laser lens. Before we get to the step-by-step -step installation, I just want to show you the 3D model so you can see very clearly how and where this thing mounts. I very carefully designed this nozzle so that it does not interfere with any part of your machine and you don't lose a single millimeter of your workable space. The nozzle sits low enough that it effectively sucks up the smoke and fumes, but also sits high enough so that it will never interfere with any of your tallest work pieces. To get it installed, you're going to take a look at the machine from the backside and we're going to have to remove this cover. A simple Phillips head screwdriver can just loosen off the two screws hiding underneath the cover and the cover will slip off upwards. The two Phillips head screws can be completely removed, we're not going to be reusing these as the kit comes with its own hardware. Once you have the two screws removed, bring in the new smoke and fume extractor nozzle and it's designed to sit right on top of the X gantry bracket. Grab one of your M3x8 socket head cap screws as well as the flat washer and we're going to be reusing the threaded holes that the original Phillips head screws came out of. If you have something like a non-permanent thread locker it would be a good idea to use this as these screws will be subject to a lot of vibration. Otherwise, just tighten these screws down. There'll be two of them that you'll have to do, one on each side, and don't go too crazy with the torque here. You're just tightening them down on a plastic bracket. Now you may notice that I've cut one of the zip ties that holds the wire going to the laser head, and that's because the new bracket contains a strain relief for the laser head wire harness. Grab two cable ties and secure the wire harness to the new bracket, and it should look something like this. Standard CPAP nozzles have 22 millimeter flexible couplings on the end and it's a pretty snug fit so just use your fingers to support the bracket while you're pushing the coupling on. Move the laser head back and forth and just make sure you have enough slack in the wire harness so that that wire is not getting pulled on in the extreme ends of travel. Now you're ready to test out your new fume extractor nozzle and it should significantly reduce the amount of smoke in your room. Just keep in mind that at the end of the day you still have an open frame laser cutter and inevitably some of that smoke will still escape. It does a really great job, but of course I want you guys to have realistic expectations here. I've also designed something very similar for the Xtool D1 Pro, both the 10 watt and 20 watt, and I've had a lot of positive feedback from people using those nozzles on those machines. The Xtool video can be found at the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Additionally, I've done the same thing on a Two Trees TTS 55 laser cutter. And so it doesn't matter if you guys have an Ortur, Xtool, or Two Trees Machine, I've got you covered. To find these nozzles as well as the ShopVac HEPA filter adapters, head on over to my website embracemaking.com. I've got all sorts of upgrades for laser cutters, 3D printers, and more maker resources available. My website and YouTube channel are constantly growing, so I hope you guys will consider subscribing so I can see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.